Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Mari Lawa and I'll be sharing with you my recipes. Is the how the way that I cook from my family. I uh, hopefully you like it. And at this time I will share with you enchiladas, uh, ground beef enchiladas. Super easy, super simple from scratch from everything. Well, except to the salsa. The salsa is already made it, but it's an easy way and you guys go and love with this okay so this is stay there um keep watching the video and i go teach you how to make the tortillas how to make it, everything everything that we need to do i go teach you guys how to do it I, and i'm pretty sure that you are ready to make it yourself okay cooking for your family is very very um how this um healthy i guess healthy uh, and delicious so you guys go and love with this enchilada so we go see the recipe okay I have the ingredients here for the enchiladas uh, I want to start with this this is two cups the maseca maseca is this one you find it in any store right it almost all the uh, food store or grocery store are uh, having this uh, maseca you find like this uh, and I also have uh, one cup of flour. This is a uh, regular flour, whatever, like for open birds or any any kind of flour. Uh, also, I have two cups the cheese. It can be this kind of cheese, so any cheese that you like, but have to be uh, the multi cheese. That's all that we need. Uh, I have salt salt and we be using just the how much you need and I have a pound ground beef I have black pepper I have garlic and I have this and the salsa this is the salsa that I go use for the enchilada you go find this at Walmart and I am Jaime Jaime have that too and I think uh, most of the store had that too. So, and you will need a dish like this, a little bit bigger. Um, I had to say this amount it can be for 12, 12 enchiladas. Um, and this is for make the tortillas, and I will teach you how to make the tortillas too. So everything, everything that you will learn right here is. It's a very, very easy way to do. So we will start. And I want to start here, um, putting my flour in the maseca. And also I want to use a tea, teaspoon. This will be the half, half tablespoon and salt, right? That's all that I need, this one. The second one from the middle, and the little one, and mix it up a little bit. I wanna say I'm sorry, my English is not the best, but I'm gonna try to do the, my best, okay? And uh, I have two cups and a half of water here, cold water. You never use hot water for your uh, maseca. Another way is got cold. Your maseca is getting cooked and you can't do it. So I get a two and a half, but I've been using around two right now. And I don't, I, if I need more, I go put in a little bit more in other ways. I go leave it like this. And the trick here is just mix it up. Just put it all together. Let's take a little bit of time. Okay. I'm using about, um, a cup and three quarters of the water so I need so right here as you can see it's um you see it's like a um how say this like having a texture it's not like too soft and not like too hard yes in the middle right and when you have it like this okay, you are ready for the start the tortillas so just do it Okay, for the tortillas, you had to have a, your pan, your pan really hot. I mean, 
I have a like, number seven right now and I think it's perfect right now so I just go keep it like this and we'll start make the tortillas look at this is a torteador you need to two plastic yes get in a plastic bag kind of like folding like this and cut it with your scissors and just you have a round uh, plastic right yes be careful with the lettuce and stuff and for the tortilla you just get like a, a little bowl like this that much and put it in the middle put the plastic and close and squish a little bit okay squish a little bit i go turn it because my tortillador it's a little bit uh one side is really really uh how i said uh skinny and the other one uh other side is a little bit like a uh, big so i will squish it one time for the other side and then ta -da, you have your tortilla ready so just remove from the plastic and then look look what you do and you have your tortilla and put it in the pan right this is the way that you do tortillas. Uh, I have to explain a little bit. I put the flour in the maseca because that makes you a little bit texture and you can work it with the masa. You working with that and other ways it's really like break it. And that'd be very hard for you make the tortilla and gotta make it in pieces and things. So with the flour is make it like you can play with that a little bit more it's not hard to do it yes uh, i don't want to break it in right here but look if you do this with your tortilla you are a professional here so yes <laughs> it's something that you um, had to practice and do it And that tortilla you put it in one side you put it in one side turn like right now when you start see a little bit like a cook you can see a little bit like a white or something you just turn the tortilla you have to turn it that at that point you see when it's a little bit cook when you see it's cook so just turn in the other side and you gotta wait a little bit take it like maybe 30 to 40 seconds to the tortilla uh, cook for all sizes also you can make with this uh, tortillas you can make a very good uh, quesadillas too okay when you have the tortilla look your tortilla had to look like this for one side and for the other side like this okay and done. You have to turn. Put another tortilla. Put it in. Don't worry that it's a little bit caught in the ends or whatever. It's fine. It's, it's nothing to worry about it. We will make like a taco so really nobody will see that. And that good text in delicious anyway. Look, look, that's delicious. You don't have to play a lot with them. Just drop it in the pan and done. So I go keep finish this and and I go teach you how to make the meat. Well, for the meat, I have this uh, pan, right? We go turn it up to about a little medium high. Medium high. Uh, just waiting for a little bit. I still take care of my tortilla. Yes, I just finish it. So, you can put your meat, right? ground beef this can be any meat that you want you can be pork or beef or 
any kind of meat that you have at home. It's not had to be exactly this one, exactly that. No. You can put any meat that you want. I don't put any oil in anything because the meat go giving a lot of oil and grease, so I don't need any more. And I had to uh, ask you guys that you guys uh, see me for the first time and you guys like my video. Uh, maybe you can subscribe. You go and subscribe or share with your friends or family. Uh, that way everybody can uh, can do this and chill out. That easy way to do it and it's uh, very good. It's kind of Mexican and American style. So yes, we gotta go like uh, cook a little bit, and and I I go tell you what's next. Well, I have my meat; it's cooking already. All the water is dry and all that. So I go put some uh, garlic. It's about a teaspoon of garlic and about a teaspoon of black pepper. And I will put in on about a half spoon of salt, right? Uh, you can do, uh, depends on how much you like the salt, right? It all depends on everyone. So I put everything there at this point. I have my salsa here. So I will put in about... Um, let me, let me grab my, uh, just, I never, I never matter how much I put it, so I will put in a, a one, a quarter, a quarter of a cup salsa, for now, no, I have to put in two, I guess. Like I say, I always do it, just put it on and done. So, okay, that looks better. It had to look like juicy, but not too much and not too dry. And put the, low the, the fire. You put it low the heat, I mean, the heat. Okay, I did low. I put it in number one. It's really, really low. So yes, let's uh, put it, everything together. And at this, uh, at this time, I go with uh, a cup of cheese. A full cup of cheese. And just wait a little bit and everything gets together. Sorry for the noise. So I put in a half a cup of the salsa in here and a cup of cheese. The cheese can be any cheese that you like it. Don't have to be this one or mixed or any this, any cheese that you like it. Just have to melt the cheese. That's all that I have to do. So at this point it's ready. This is ready for make the enchiladas, right? We have the meat, we have the tortillas. We have the tortillas here too. So we will start make the enchiladas. Right here, I go turn it off. Go get my uh, my dish. Right, go get my dish. Right here is really uh, put in a salsa. You put in salsa in the here in the, in the bottom uh, let me move a little bit this it's kind of far away from everything so put in a little bit of salsa on my dish in the bottom right so keep it like a betty put get the tortilla from the inside this is the inside this is the outside so you can see it's more like a bubbles 
whatever in the inside so just grab it that way put your meat and made a taco made a taco like this and just you can put it like this or also you can turn in the other side it's any any way that it's better in your dish so I will put in uh, sound like this and fill up with the other one in the other side it's the way that I would do it okay I have an all my enchiladas right here it's all ready set up I got I got 12 enchiladas here so now I go put the salsa without salsa I have to be sure in all my enchiladas it's uh it's getting wet with that so really really uh cover with the salsa Sorry, this is the family, so my Mommy. son is talking for me. Well, we have it like this, very, very copper and, and salsa. So now we go start putting the cheese. This, put in the, how much cheese that you want. If you don't like a lot of cheese, put in a little bit like this. If you like it more, yes, cover in cheese, Mommy. how your family like. Like this. Perfect uh, for me, like this, a little bit cheese all over. And also I have a little bit um, extra salsa. I wanna put in a little bit in, in here, in the dish, because uh, my husband like putting the salsa in the top. When it's everything done, he like putting it in the top. Uh, so right here, we have everything ready, right? So when we go eat, about uh, 15 minutes before we had the dinner, I go put this in the oven and set up like 400, 400 for 15 minutes. And then it's ready for eat. Now at this point, just cover in foil and wait until dinner and put it in the oven and done and serving so it's something really really good to eat at home is that I invited you guys to uh, make it right it's so easy to make it it looks a lot like a lot of work but it's not really and also I want to explain you if you think and maybe you get the tortillas from the store and um, and juice in that way it's a little bit different. It's not go testing the same that you made your own tortillas because the other from the store is kind of when you got wet, it's like breaking so easily. And this one is not, it's not breaking. This is kind of like a, because we put in the flour that make it strong. And the one from the store is kind of like when you got wet, it's just falling apart. So I recommend you make your own tortillas or just try the store. Maybe you can do uh, the same process, but do like a casserole, and that'd be so easy. Just cut the tortillas and make it like a berries. Put the uh, salsa, meat, and the tortilla. Uh, salsa, meat, and the tortilla, and, and cheese, right? Just put the cheese between and all that, and make it like a casserole. Just so many um, different ways to do maybe the next time I go teach you how to do it that way and it's a little bit um, maybe easy for you guys with the uh, tortillas from the store well I go uh, show you guys later when I put it in the oven and all that I had to wait a little bit because it's a little bit early here but well see you guys in a minute I go bring it out from the oven look at that delicious enchiladas it's so look the way that they look when you take it out from the oven they're so nice and juicy 
Serving in my plate. The way that I do, yes, get like a two at a time. Two at a time. It's a little bit hard to take it out, but I don't want to break it. Serve in my plate. Okay. And I will teach you how to eat it. I have my enchiladas. Look how delicious they look. Looks so good. I will put some, uh, some salsa on the top. Like this. Put a little bit more in the other one. This is not a spicy. I have to say it's not even medium. It's not testing at all uh, spicy. So I just want to be sure that it's clear. And um, well, you can see it's so juicy, delicious. Look, and so good, so so good. When you cut, when you cut it, look, so cheese is melting. Very very juicy. They are so good. I hopefully you. I hopefully you um, do it. This recipe is so simple and so good. I hopefully you enjoy it. Is that word? <laughs> well, and I what I had to say is thank you very much. Thank you very much for seeing my video, and uh, you share and subscribe for me. It help a little bit. Well, thank you and God, God bless you. And I'm sorry for my English <laughs> again. Bye bye. Bye.